Sometimes you'll be asked to solve equations such as the one I've outlined here, 2 cos x plus 5 tan x minus 6x squared equals naught, where x is uh, a small angle and measured in radians. And what you'll find is we end up with a quadratic equation. You can see we've got x squareds involved. Um, so one of the answers I think when we work through this will be negative, and we're interested in x being positive, so we want the positive root. Okay, so if 2 cos x um, is now going to be replaced using our small angle value of x, if x is in radians, we've got two lots of 1 minus, instead of um, theta, which is what the general formula is, we've got x here, so this is x squared over 2. So 1 minus x squared over 2 is the same as cos x, plus 5 lots of tan x is approximately the same as x in radians, Take away the 6x squared equals 0, those two things stay the same. So we end up with this equation. If I expand out this bracket, you get 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times that, the 2's would cancel, so you get minus a single x squared plus 5x minus 6x squared equals 0. Let's now collect the x squareds on one side. Um, minus 1, minus 6, that's minus 7. Take it to the right, you get 7x squared on the right plus 5x, take it over, you get minus 5x. And then you've got a plus 2, take that to the other side, you get minus 2 on the right-hand side, and that means we've got nothing now on the left-hand side. So we've got to solve this quadratic. Let's do it by just inspecting and writing down the double brackets. 7x squared, x and x. I've deliberately set up something here which will factorise. So 7x times x, 7x squared. Let's say I put a 2 there and a 1 there, and they're going to be opposite signs with a little bit of inspection going on. I think that must be a minus and that must be a plus. Let's just check. 7x times x is 7x squared. The plus 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And then plus 2 times x is plus 2x. And then you've got the 7x times minus 1 is minus 7x. So minus 7x plus 2x. Put them together, you get minus 5x. So that is the right factorization. So therefore we can now say either the first bracket 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 or the second bracket x minus 1 equals 0. This one here is going to give you the negative answer minus 2 over 7. We're going to ignore that because we want, remember it says up here x is positive, so that's no good. And then this one here, x will be equal to 1 and x equals 1 is positive, so that's the answer we want. Okay, so there you go. If x is measured in radians, x is small, x must have the value 1.